These middle schoolers attended a Khan Academy Discovery Lab camp this summer. If you were thinking kids sitting at computers, think again. We're gonna make a girl robot and then a boy robot, and they're gonna waltz together. Our project is going to be an animation. It is going to be of a Minecraft creeper going up to a Minecraft Steve and then exploding. Marching's a bit too simple, so I created the Disco Inferno android. The atmosphere was electric with creativity as tweens readied their final projects to show their parents. This is Khan Academy's testing grounds, and what you're looking at might just be the future of education. And it all began with a man and a mic. Now we have an even more intriguing situation. On the left-hand side of this scale... The man is Salman Khan the founder and executive director of Khan Academy, and he's been transforming the way educational materials are delivered. His calm, reassuring voice and simple style are heard on many of the not-for-profit corporation's roughly 3,300 instructional videos. Uh, we're now over 30 people. We're a 501c3 uh, not-for-profit organization with a, a mission, a, a fairly modest mission of a, a free world-class education for anyone, anywhere. And to us, you know, that's a goal, and no one I think will ever say that that's done, checkbox. Khan Academy's been called a global classroom, where straightforward educational videos and exercises are posted on the web on a variety of subjects, from arithmetic and physics to history and finance, and are free to watch. What began as tutorials for Sal's cousin in 2004 has exploded onto the educational scene, with 180 million lessons viewed around the world to date. Sal Khan is one of the most amazing people on the planet. He believes everyone can learn. Uh, you can spend 10 seconds with the man and understand he is a man of gentle soul, big heart, and great intellect. Sal was surprised to find out that he had a big fan in Bill Gates when he spoke at the Aspen Ideas Festival in 2010. There's a new uh, website that uh, I've just been using with my kids recently called Khan Academy, K-H-A-N. Just one guy doing some unbelievable 15-minute tutorials. I pinch myself often because I'm having the most fun that I've ever had. In addition to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, several other large funders have helped Khan Academy expand on its original premise. Its videos are used by young and old alike, classroom students and teachers, homeschoolers, military service members, career changers, and the list goes on. Sal's vision for the academy in the classroom setting is to work hand in hand with teachers to rethink how lessons are conducted. The term flipping the classroom has become associated with Khan Academy. What used to be homework was classwork, what used to be class lectures now can be done at a student's own pace. If a lot of core skills can happen at a student's own time and pace, can you have class time be much more open-ended, much more project-oriented? Can we start to blend to physics with calculus so that they're not separate classes anymore, so that everything feels much more connected and holistic? <laughs> Khan Academy's <laughs> Discovery Lab Camp is a great way to see the potential Sal envisions of working with teachers and mentors, not replacing them. The campers are proud to show off their hard work to their parents. It's opened their eyes to things that they didn't necessarily know about and things they didn't know they could do, and that's exactly what we were trying to do. So inspire kids to go deeper in math and science and in a variety of different subjects. In truth, you can't just type in, make these strange cylinder things, and it just happens. You have to like combine rectangles with ellipses, and it's really complicated. But it turned out pretty good, so I decided why stop there. The kids were thrilled, enthusiastic, engaged. I think when kids are allowed to unleash their skills, uh, it's just a, a magic. Lack of education is the root of all the world's problems, and education can be the solution for all of the world's potential. I think the trend that the whole world is going in, which is easier access to knowledge, more flexible ways of doing things, more flexible ways of proving what people know, emphasis on creativity, I think I am actually excited about the future of education, the implications that might have on all of the other problems that, that the world is facing.